Well, good evening, everyone, and welcome here to the Launchpad and our live launch coverage, finally, of NASA Spherex and Punch, set to launch from Slick 4E at Vandenberg Space Force Base in California. This mission's been pushed back many times, but everything is looking like they are going to go for an attempt here tonight. Weather is 30% chance of go. Um, we'll wait to see if we can get a weather update here at the, when NASA begins their live broadcast. But if it's your first time here, welcome. My name's Zach. I'm the founder and host here at the Launchpad here at TLP. It's our mission to inform and inspire the explorers of tomorrow because we believe that space is better together. And we're glad to have you joining us for our first of two live streams that will be happening here tonight. We have the launch of Sphere, uh, Sphere X and Punch first. And about an hour later, we are set to have the launch of Starlink here from the Space Coast. We'll see if both of these happen tonight. We want to hear from you in the chat. Tonight's Falcon 9 booster for Sphere X is booster 1088 going for its third flight on a 55-day turnaround after previously supporting NROL-126 and Transporter-12, and it's coming back to landing zone 4. So if you happen to be in the Los Angeles uh, area near Vandenberg, make sure you're up and outside to hear that incredible sonic boom. Now we're going to be answering your guys' comments and questions throughout the stream, so make sure you're sending those in in the chat by taking us at the launch pad. This is a NASA mission, so they will have NASA coverage, and that's what's beginning on your screens right now, so we will listen in to NASA and SpaceX mission controls for updates, but I'll be back with commentary updates and to answer some of your questions along the way here tonight. So we are now just 53 minutes, 20 seconds away from the launch of Spherex and Punch. They're going to walk us through a lot more about what today's mission is all about. Glenn A, member for 20 months at a Martian Explorer, thank you so much, saying let's light this thing. I appreciate that support. If you guys are interested in supporting what we do, you can hit that join button down below. 99 cents a month gets you access to those custom TLP launch emotes and that awesome TLP helmet next to your name. Let's listen in to NASA Mission Control. Watch as this Falcon 9 rocket lifts off from Vandenberg Space Force Base. With this one launch, two missions, SphereX, a space telescope to map our cosmos, and Punch, four small satellites to track how the sun's corona shapes solar wind. Hello and welcome to Vandenberg Space Force Base in California. I'm NASA's Raquel Villanueva, bringing you live coverage from the heart of the spacecraft and launch vehicle base operations here on base. Just a few feet away, teams are hard at work preparing for today's launch. NASA's Launch Services Program, also known as LSP, is managing today's launch and we are targeting 8, 10, 12 p.m. Pacific time. We are also currently monitoring thick clouds in the area that could impact today's launch. We will get more updates as we continue the, the countdown to liftoff. Hold, and hold, joining hold. me now today is Farah Alibay, Spherex, Flight Systems Engineer. Thank you so much for being here. I'm really happy to be here. We've been tracking these, uh, these clouds all well day today, as, uh, so we'll see what happens this evening, but it's just well. an honor to be here with um, you today. We are standing down for the day okay. and uh, and uh, you know, an Goddard Flight tomorrow. Center's overseas punch, and you know we are actually getting an update from um, the weather crew. So let's actually head over to our team at Hawthorne, who will give us more on that update. Good evening, everyone. My name is Jesse Anderson. I'm a senior production manager here at SpaceX, and I'm joined by Megan Cruz and Mick Waltman from NASA. Yeah, and uh, we're here together so that we could be listening to the loops, to listen along with the countdown and give you as many updates as we can. And right now, we did just get an update uh, from the launch director as well as our NASA counterparts that we are standing down for today's launch. Mick, we were um, watching the weather, but also um, there is an issue with the spacecraft. Yeah, the team was looking at the thick cloud rule for today's weather tonight, or for tonight's weather for launch attempt. Uh, however, spacecraft had an issue with one of their uh, systems, and they cannot support tonight's launch attempt. So, uh, Dr. Denton Gibson, our NASA launch manager, and Nate uh, Jansen, the SpaceX launch director, discussed it and uh, call, a, call a scrub for this evening. Yeah, we knew it was going to be a, a tough road ahead from the beginning for today because the weather did not look great. Um, actually, throughout the launch countdown, again, the three of us were listening to uh, conversations and periodic weather briefings uh, because they needed to keep a very close eye on weather tonight. 
Yeah, exactly. And we definitely will not go if weather is not good and if the vehicle and spacecraft are not healthy. We'd rather um, prepare for a day and time that will work for both the vehicle, the payloads, and the weather, of course. And Vic, do we know when, when we may be, uh, we'll try to launch this again? I think the team's discussing that right now, um, looking at possibly a 24-hour uh, recycle. Uh, the launch managers will discuss that, and, and we'll get something out on the blogs and social media, I'm sure. Um, but as uh, Jesse was pointing out, the thick cloud rule tonight, a very important rule for us so that we don't have rocket-triggered lightning once we launch. And the weather that just moved in over Vandenberg in the last couple hours uh, was in violation of that. So the range uh, that we launched from here uh, was red, and uh, the team was looking for that last weather briefing before we got into propellant loading. And uh, unfortunately, we had the spacecraft issue come up also. So I think the right call was made, and so everybody can go assess uh, what we can do for possibly tomorrow. Yeah, let's talk a little bit attempt launch tomorrow, we know that it's also going to be a watch item because we do have a system coming in um, that we have to watch, right? Our weather officers know that there's a, a unique combination of temperature, but also electricity that would make it so that rocket triggered, rocket -triggered lightning, lightning is more um, plausible. So can you talk a little bit more about the rule? Yeah, absolutely. It, it, as you said, it has something to do, a little bit to do with the temperature, but also the thickness of the clouds that are there, that as the rocket, uh, what basically what we're looking for is to assess the rocket's trajectory path uh, that it takes through that thick cloud. So anything over 45 500 feet thick um, tends to be our, our limit uh, so that we don't trigger that lightning, which could damage the rocket uh, itself and go on. So we were watching temperatures tonight. We're watching that thick cloud. Tomorrow, uh, things do look a little bit better, what we heard in the earlier weather brief, but we'll hear from Lieutenant Park tomorrow as we get ready, hopefully, for a launch tomorrow afternoon. But uh, I will say, Jesse, uh, all the systems getting ready for polling, the rocket looked good. Um, yeah. We just can't control the weather. Exactly. We always say this all the time. The one thing we can't control is the weather. Um, but vehicle was looking good again for tonight. Um, so we should be ready for whatever next opportunity we have. Yes. So thank you guys for um, checking in with us here so that we can give you the latest updates. Uh, for now, though, we're going to send it back to Vandenberg with the host desk uh, with Raquel and Farah are standing down for tonight and will have a launch date sometime soon. So for the latest information on the next attempt, please visit blogs.nasa.gov slash spherex and blogs.nasa.gov slash punch. As always, we thank you for watching and please stay tuned and we will hope to see everyone back here for our next launch attempt. Well, that might be a shortest one for the record books, but if you're just joining us, no launch tonight. We are having a scrub on the countdown, that weather not looking great, and then it sounds like they are having one of the spacecrafts that uh, uh, one of the teams has requested additional time. Something fl came up on their system. So no launch of Sphere X tonight, so that poll's going to be even more interesting. Uh, it's been pretty split uh, from you guys on 0 to 2, 1 to 2, 2 out of 2. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to wrap up this uh, att launch coverage attempt. Uh, we are still standing by for the launch of Starlink 12-21 from Slick 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida. That uh, launch has slipped to 12.14 a.m. Eastern Time, so we're keeping an eye on that. And if that has a launch attempt, we will, of course, go live for that. For the latest on the launch calendar, head over to tlpnetwork.com. Click on that launch button so you can stay up to date on the latest. And make sure to join us over in the TLP Discord. That's where our community hangs out in between streams. We'd love to see you there. But for now, from our TLP Space Coast studio, my name's Zach. We will see you next time because space is better together. Good night.